Rhydon, Starmie, Kangaskhan, Muk, Zapdos, Tauros. Amazing team. What a cool team. How do I deal with this? Rhydon is the standard lead here. And let's look at where his rocks are. It's just on the Rhydon. Thanks for remembering my donation when I come into our YouTube video. Dude, always. Always. I remember every... Your donation's still up there. They, it's still there. You're still the number one donator. The newest donator is still Brandon. Or Braden. Let's see. Uh, What's really cool about this is that his only rocks user is the Rhydon. So the only thing I really have to be faster than is the Rhydon. And let's look at the rest of his team. He has, like, Muck. Um, he has, like, Zapdos. Those are two Pokemon that I want to lead against versus in, uh, with Primate. But I think Prime's the lead here. But the problem is, if you lead Starmie, we're in a little bit of a problem. But, like, I don't think he's going to lead Starmie. I think it's going to be Rhydon. Or it's going to be, like, something... It could be Starmie and potentially switch into Rhydon, but I doubt it. It's 6.15 p.m. in Australia. I'm listening to the stream right now. Well, you know, I hope you're having a great one. I really do think that uh, Primeape is going to be the best lead here, guys. What do you guys think about Primeape? What do you guys think about Primeape? And let's go Pikachu singles action. I think Prime is amazing. I think Prime is so good. It doesn't even use a fighting attack, but people are going to be threatened by a fighting attack. Like, if he, if he leads Tauros and I lead Primeape, you know that he's scared. You know that he's scared. Because we got what we need to succeed here. So, let's see what he's actually working with. Got the Pikachu with the Diglett hat on. And, uh, do we see Tauros? It's right on it. Just like I thought. It's almost like I played this game. Sometimes in my spare time. One of my favorite shinies is going to be Shiny Rhydon coming in here. And I actually will taunt this. You may think, like, that's, you don't have to taunt, it's, you know, it's probably just going to switch, but like, better safe than sorry. Earthquake isn't going to pick up a KO on this, even though it's super effective. Taunt's a safer play, gotta stop those rocks. He decides to stay in, which means, again, I really think he, he knows that I can't KO him, so he's just going to, he's just going to chill. There's the stealth rocks, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I really do think he's going to switch into Zapdos. I could go for an Earthquake, it's the most damage, I could also go for a U-turn to try and pin him with something else, but we're just gonna go for the Ice Punch because I really do think the Zapdos switching is coming in here. I'm using Gyarados, Aerodactyl, Parasect, Electro, Venusaur, and Stormax. I'm loving it. It's such a good team. Ice Punch right there. Bam. Super good damage. You gonna freeze? No, he's going for EQ. So it's gonna be one of those stabbed EQs. Now, what we've done here is by showing our hand. Oh my goodness. Look at that damage. Is that a crit? Oh my goodness. But anyways, look at uh, what we see here. Uh, what's, what's the button? It's this button. So we can see his team. Uh, what we've done is we've really shown him like, hey, I have Ice Punch. You know, you're one thing that you really don't want to switch in to block Ice Punch, that Zapdos. Like, you're not going to switch in Zapdos here. Best thing you can do is switch in Starmie. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go for an EQ. Because I really don't think the Zapdos is going to be coming in. And I think that I can KO this thing with Earthquake. It has uh, 25 more base power. And that's, it was close. It was close. I tried my best. I have no regrets. Goes for EQ. What nature is your Beedrill? It's going to be Jolly. It's going to be Jolly. Yeah. Uh, I probably could have went for the double Earthquake, but then if I would have Earthquake originally, he would have switched into Zapdos there. So we would have had like very similar results. He's going to shake off the taunt, which means we have to come in and reapply, you know, the pressure. I think it's probably a really good idea to come in with Beedrill here. Just Mega Evolve, U-Turn out, and that way we're already going to be Mega Beedrill for when we need to come in later on in the game. And it lets us, like, keep the momentum. Again, what can he send out after we U-Turn? So we're going to be U-Turning... I think I'm going to U-turn into Persian, because Persian is good against almost all of those. I could actually go into Aerodactyl, I think. There's a couple options I have here. So, yeah, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to come in with the Beedrill, pop that Mega Evolution, and just U-turn. U-turn should be able to KO, even though it's not very effective in this situation, just because he is so low. He's so low HP-wise that we're actually going to be pretty good, I think. So, Mega Beedrill, unfortunately not gaining any abilities here, but... U turn coming in big. Yeah, that's Please right. go away. That's, that's right. right. First follow of the night. Pickle underscore juiced. Yo, I appreciate the follow, my guy. I hope you're having a great night. And uh, Beedrill is going to be switching it on out. Now, again, I could come up with a lot of different things. I think Jolteon might even be a decent option. Let's think about it. He has, like, Muck. He has. This This seals the Starmie from coming out here, and Starmie's, like, the biggest threat. Kang is a little bit of a problem. Kang is a problem. If I send out the Aerodactyl, he's going to send out Starmie, right? But if I send out my Starmie, I think he's going to send Kangaskhan out. This forces Kangaskhan to come out, and what I can do against Kangaskhan is I should just I should just be able to be fine. We'll see. I might set up a Reflect, because, like, look at, well, let's look at what his team actually has in store for us. So Jolteon's going to make it so he can't bring out uh, Starmie in this match. He might bring out Muk. I highly doubt it. Yo, here's some more. I'll take those bits all the way to the bank. Five bits. Oh man, I think you just got a. Uh, is that another? Let me see bits for a sec. Brayden, yeah, you're you're climbing on the bit leaderboard. Ooh, Tauros. I really think he's gonna earthquake here. 
So again, let's look at his team one more time. You, know, you can always look at their teams using the Joy-Con by pressing the plus sign. Look at his team. He has uh, Muck, Tauros, and Starmie Zapdos. So he has right now three physical attackers, two special attackers. I think I'm going to actually pop the Reflect. I think the Reflect is more value, like Reflect, than a uh, thund like a Fadeaway Thunder. Or Thunderbolt, sorry. So Reflect should be able to keep me alive from an Earthquake. Hopefully we don't see like Sub or something, but we'll see what he goes for. Goes for the EQ. Very uh, predictable play here. Hopefully I can live it. Oh! Oh! A critical hit. Guys, remember, crits go through screens. Uh, never lucky. Striking once again. Uh, put those RNGs up in chat. Yeah, that's very, very unfortunate here. I see you with the late stream, my guy. I mean, I stream sometimes. I think it's actually this is my best play. Let me actually think about this. Mm, this is all not great. I think it has to be Aerodactyl. Because, like, he probably has, like, Rock Slide, but, like, that's it. And I... You know, I should be okay here. Yeah, RNG, guys. I would have been totally fine. Uh, let's take let's take this guy. Let's take him out. Gotta go for rock slides. We don't know anything about this Tauros set other than it has Earthquake, right? It probably has a normal attack. Probably has like double edge or headbutt or something. I wouldn't be surprised if it has rock slide. Tauros does get rock slide. And he probably has some other sort of like setup move, I would assume. I would assume he has some sort of setup move. So Rock Slide coming in, making the connections. I don't even expect this to do half. Taurus is like actually really, really bulky. So he goes for the, f I get the flinch. I'll take it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of need it. Like that flinch, you know, making up for the fact that like we should have been able to KO. Or we, our Jolteon just should have lived. So that one is a little bit less. He goes for an outrage. That's outrageous, guys. Outrageous. Yeah, not going to be doing that much. Um... I think I'm actually, he's going to be stuck using Outrage for a couple turns. Uh, I'm going to put up a Stealth Rock because I can. And then I think I'm going to go for one more Rock Slide to go for that Flincherino. I could go for a Double Earthquake, but we we have the necessity to just chill here for a bit. Great stream just sitting here pressing A, beating Bulbasaur Candies. There you go, man. What a cool stream. So yeah, uh, Reflect really coming in and cutting the damage from that Outrage. Uh, yeah, just going to go for a Rock Slide. So we have free Rocks. The bad thing is that he has like a Kangaskhan, and our team actually is really weak to Kangaskhan at this point, because our Aerodactyl is getting kind of low. Uh, he could like totally sucker punch us at this point, but we'll see. He's going to be confused on that Tauros. Uh, I, my reflex going to wear off. I'm actually going to EQ here, because I don't want to miss. So we're just going to EQ here. Yep. I think I'm going to switch the Aerodactyl. Now, he only has 5 PP on Kang's Sucker Punch, right? I'm already thinking a few more turns ahead of the game. If he has Kang's Hunt here, I'm going to hard switch into Persian. And then I'm going to hard switch out from Persian to Starmie. And then he's going to go for Sucker Punch again. I'm going to hard switch back into Aerodactyl. And we're going to rinse and repeat until we play a little bit of a guessing game, making him waste all of his Sucker Punches because he should only have 5. Now, he could totally go for a Fake Out here. And that's why we're switching away from Aerodactyl first. So he takes some Rocks damage. He's going to be Mega Evolving with this. And, uh, again, we're going to switch to Starmie to, like, it's really weird. Like, what else would he be using? Like, if he's not Sucker Punching, he's going to be using, like, uh, Brick Break or something like that. Maybe Rock Slide. Starmie's the safer pick here, I would say. But I really think he's going for Sucker Punch. And, again, he only has five of them. Unless he's PP Max them. I mean, he's using a pretty shiny team. So, like, it's possible he's PP Max them. But I really expect a Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch is the strat. I, I, can, I can also see Rock Slide. I'm not going to lie. I could also just see Rock Slide. What do you think about Alolan Sand Slash and what moves in Nature would recommend? I mean, he did he fake out it. Wow, really surprising. That's a lot. That's another crit. Wow, never lucky. Never lucky. Uh, I'm much too busy right now uh, playing the game to talk about natures for stuff like that. But, you know, oh, I haven't really played with Alolan Sand Slash once yet, so I can't give you an informed guess. I haven't even seen really anyone use one, maybe more than once. So let's see if we see Sucker Punch. There's one Sucker Punch, right? That's one Sucker Punch. Um, I think I'm gonna taunt it just because I don't want him to be able to like sub here Like right now if I were to switch See he's staying in He's expecting me to like stay around. Let's see sub sub ice punch. All right. Cool. That's fine. It's fine So we've taunted him we've wasted one of his sucker punches He didn't he was not played a fool for that time But yeah, those crits are really gonna be a pain in the butt pain in the butt. So we're gonna switch him with Beedrill I think we're gonna go for a U-turn into Persian. Alive and well, yeah, buddy. Uh, we're gonna go for a U-turn here. Yeah, we've been crit like four times this game. It's been a real rough game. And uh, like, what do you what do you want me to do? You know, what am I supposed to do in this situation? There we go. Kangaskhan being a major pain, right? 
There we go. We got the pointy hat. Kind of. Wait on him. He might be switching. Like, I would actually switch. I would preserve the Kang. He's going for a sucker. So that's two. That's a lot of damage. It does over half to my B drill. So that's really unfortunate. Um, but we have sub in the back. So, like, that's another thing that's kind of important. So we've seen uh, Sucker Punch and Ice Punch. I think Persian is the right play here. Persian is the right play. Did someone just message me on Facebook while I'm streaming? I'm not going to read that right now. All right, so we're going to switch Persian in. I know Hosky's in the chat. If you guys say sub, just go for it. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to make a nasty plot. I think he's gonna attack with something, but like, I think Persian can eat and attack plus. Uh, he's withdrawing. Okay, that's fine. Beatrice still has subs, so like, I could totally come in with stuff. He's gonna send out Muck here. Yeah. I wonder if Muck is gonna use Toxic. Setting up an Asia topics to talk about? Yeah. That's gonna be tomorrow. Alright, but let's see. Should I taunt this thing, or is he just gonna poison jab me? Right? That's the real question. I kind of want to taunt it because I don't want to get toxic. Let's see it. Let's see what he has. We will see what he has. I'm going for. I think the taunt is the right play. I think the taunt is the right play, and uh, he goes for the toxic. Yeah, that's the right play. The right play every day, as they say. Now some mucks can't do anything, and I actually need one more nasty plot to be able to get that big damage. I I know he's going to go for a poison jab here, right? Or a crunch. Like I'd love to see a crunch with no defense drop, but I'm pretty sure a poison jab is going to be happening. Foul play! Okay, that's not going to do a whole lot. Yeah, it's not doing a whole heck of a lot. Nasty Pot Persian's so good. Yeah, I agree. We actually have the T-Bolt here, which is pretty unfortunate. It's going to be a two-shot. Even at plus six, I don't think Thunderbolt one-shot, so uh, plus four double with uh, Thunderbolt should be enough. Yo, feeling a bit down today, so glad you're streaming right now. It makes me feel better. Yo, it makes me feel better, too. I'm glad that I'm glad I can make feel better. Here we go. Hopefully, we can do over half of this thing. Just barely. He goes for an Ice Punch. Why didn't you use that the first time? Ice Punch Toxic? Like, what a weird set. He's going to shake off his taunt. Unfortunately, though, we're at that point where he can go, like, fake out Sucker Punch with his Kang. Slept on Persian Hardcore regretting it. It's a really, really, really good Pokemon, isn't it? It's really, really good. Welcome back, my dude. Yep. So, he's used two Sucker Punches? He's used one or he's used two. He's used two Sucker Punches. He only has three more. Um, but I'm trying to PP them out. So he's going to send Kang out, I think. Starmie. It's possible that we're faster than Starmie, and I'm willing to risk it. Because I'm really, really behind. So we go for the DP. Best thing I got. Yep, Persian is so fast. Speed that I need to succeed. Persian coming in with the sweep arena. Mi amigo. Skills to pay the bills. And you got to send that Kang out now. You got to do it, unfortunately, my guy. Got to send out the Kang. So let's see it. There's the Kang. I'm going to switch back into my Aerodactyl. Actually, did I lose Aerodactyl? I, th I think I did. He Ice Punched me, right? So his only two Pokemon left are Kang and Zapdos. Right, so what do I need to preserve? Starmie is the Pokemon that can kind of deal with Zapdos. Beedrill's not that great against it. All my Pokemon are weak as shit. So who do I want to eat? I'm going to switch the Starmie in. I got an idea, because I know he's Fake Outing, right? I know that you're going to use Fake Out. And I don't want my Persian... Persian can actually eat one Sucker Punch from Kang. So, like, I don't have to deal with that. There's the Fake Out. Starmie should be able to eat it. This last one was a crit. So, yeah. He's going to go for a Sucker Punch here. So what we're going to do is we're going to Thunder Wave it to get around Sucker Punch. Remember, Sucker Punch only works if you're using a uh, damaging move, right? So, we oh my gosh, he didn't use Sucker Punch. Craigasm. What a guy. What a crazy, wild and crazy play. What a wild and crazy play. There's a para. I'll take it. I wonder if he's going to suck a bunch here. Uh, I'm going to go for the Psychic. Just think, I mean, either way, he could get parried too. He's going to suck a bunch here. Oh, wow. Now, he didn't do it again. Wow. Can I get a KO? Damn it. There's another para. I really think he's going to use Sucker Punch here. It doesn't matter if he uses Sucker Punch here, does it? He is going to Sucker Punch, though. Even if he does, I send out Persian, and I think I'm fine. Oh, we get the para, though! Fully paralyzed! Starmie! Yo, that's how we outplay those. Put some RNGs back up. That's what I get for getting crit all those times. Yo, that's right. Sucker Punch sucks. It's called Suck or Punch for a reason. I'll take those RNGs. Yeah, dude, that Electro Demote is up right now. 
And uh, let's actually see. There's the Zapdos, right? Yeah, lucky. I agree. So we got rocks on Zapdos. I have a Persian and a Mega Beedrill left. So I think I should actually be fine. Let's see. Psychic over Scald. I think Scald's actually the play for the 30% chance burn. But we'll see. I'm going to use Psychic once. And if he wants to go for like Roost, like a calm Zapdos with Roost, might be able to actually wall my Starmie. We'll see. Goes for the T-Bolt. Totally fine. Absolutely fine. I cannot believe that we actually came back and won this game after losing our Jolteon and like another Pokemon for free. Lost those things for free, guys. Like, we just gave them away to crits. And uh, we actually came back and won against a very, very good team. Like, I think all of us totally played by the rules. No, uh, no claws breaking. No, nothing like that. Totally just nice standard game. Should be able to clean this one up with a poison jab, Reno, mi amigo. And note that we sent the Beedra out over the Persian. Dark Pulse is good, but Zapdos is really bulky. I don't want him to be able to like roost me out and get into a situation where Beedra would have to come in at uh, anything less than exactly what it was. So we got the two stock. We take those all the way to the bank. Mega Beedra put in that work. I don't know how I feel about that guy's team. Um, again, he can only really use rocks with one Pokemon, uh, Chansey, so if we leave with something that stops Chansey, we're gonna be in a really good spot, so I can lead with any of my taunt users and be really, really good. I actually think, uh, let's actually talk about it. I really want to say that it's possible for Persian to be a good lead here, but I think I'm gonna lead Primate, because Primate's gonna be sitting against all of those things, potentially even Pikachu. Yep, sup, bruv? Love your streams, been watching you for quite a while, all the way from New Zealand. Thank you for coming and stopping by. I really appreciate it. I think I'm actually going to leave Primate, and I think I'm going to Ice Punch him on the Switch. He's expo he's expecting Aerodactyl. He's going to leave Pikachu. Because Pikachu is... Is this Pikachu is checked for Aerodactyl? Sorry, that's I pressed. Do not renew in case making a little after Christmas. If I have my resub. That's perfect, dude. No rush. No rush. What do I actually leave with? Death Knox. How's it going? I think he's leading with Chansey or Pikachu. What do we have that beats Chansey and Pikachu? Nothing. I'm gonna leave Primate. Primate's a little bit weak, but uh, I like the Primate bleed. It's a standard U-turn lead. It's one of the best U-turn leads, and it's it has different weaknesses. That actually has very similar weaknesses to Beedrill, but the it does it's not weak against the rocks. Yeah, the Wi-Fi battle for it. I mean, that's what these are. You know, that's what these videos are. They're gonna be on YouTube eventually. What do you think of the team I'm building? Mega Alexam, Jolteon, Primate, Venomoth, Aerodactyl, Arcanine. Very good. Um, I think there's better choices than Arcanine, but I agree. Uh, Primate actually isn't that great in that type of team, but, you know, you do you. There's the Pikachu, just like I said. Now, Pikachu's a really real Pokemon in that the partner Pikachu is really fast, right? Peru here, I finally see you streaming. Yo, thank you for stopping by. The partner Pikachu is really fast, and you can go for that big flying attack on me. But I'm speed-natured, so I almost want to say he has to be, like, speed-natured as well. A well in Persian is the emote. But Henry coming in with those bits. I'm going to go for the EQ. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's see what he has. Don't you 40 follow me. Damn it. Okay. Well, you know, we're learning. Don't sleep on Arcanine's pretty good. No, I think Arcanine's really good. But Arcanine's not really good in, in like that team. Don't flinch me. Buckets. Oh my gosh. That's really, really bad. That's probably the game. I had to switch out Jolteon. That sucks. That really sucks. I was completely fine eating 140 fall. But... No, I think Arcanine's amazing. I just don't think Arcanine's amazing in that team. Because it, it makes you share a lot of same weaknesses. Alright, this doesn't do anything. I think I'm actually just going to Thunderbolt this thing. I want to check his team to make sure he doesn't have, like, a ground. Yeah, no, I'm fine just Thunderbolting. He can switch in his Chansey. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. I think he's going to switch in Chansey. I'm going to switch back in my Primate. I want to see what he has. We'll see. I'm going for the double switch. Let's see if he's a legend or if he's switching his Chansey. I think he's switching in Chansey. So obviously I have to switch out first. I'm the faster of the two Pokemon. I mean, he could totally read me. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Worst case scenario, I get a free swap. He's going for a split, but yeah, he's, he's just foddering, yeah. Love your Pikachu hat. Is there a special right now on it? I'm able to go, let's go, which is stupid. Did I live? Holy moly, I lived. Wow, this is just not going good. I, I almost want to say I just fodder. Uh, whatever, I'll just switch in Jolteon. If he's not going to ever switch, if, I, I think he might... I don't know. I'm not feeling it. This is a weird game so far. Yeah, this is Splishy Splashies. This isn't going to do a ton. 
I think I'm actually just gonna Thunderbolt him out because he, he literally doesn't do any damage. So he should have switched in Chansey. He hadn't been doing that, so this is the best thing that I got. Yeah, Thunderbolt actually does a lot. Like Pikachu's frail, guys. <laughs> Literal glass cannon. And I could go for like Reflex and stuff like that, but I think it's best to use those at the end of Jolteon's life. So I'm gonna be able to use a couple more Thunderbolts and throw up like a fade away Reflector Light Screen, and that's like the real play. Zippy Zap, I mean it has a shot to do a lot, but like I also resist it. Let's see, yeah. So he's gonna be able to Zippy Zap me next turn if he really wants to, because that move automatically crits. So I could have I could use a screen this turn, but I'd rather just take the free damage and then come in with something that outspeeds for sure, like Aerodactyl. Uh, Aerodactyl doesn't outspeed for sure because he can use Zippy Zappies. Um, he's gonna use Zippy Zap. Is it worth it to save this Jolteon and take free damage on like Persian? Maybe. Let's try it. Let's try and soak damage and keep the Pokemon uh, alive. Let's see how much damage Persian takes from Zippy Zap. If it doesn't do over uh, half, we're good. It's possible it does. P this Pikachu's Eevee, not Eevee weird, but like uh, it has a weird nature or something. Let's see if it's over half. Nope, I'm exactly perfect where I need to be. So we're gonna go for a Dark Pulse. This Pikachu, I've, I've said it before, you guys have heard me say it in multiple videos. I think Partner Pikachu is so much better than Partner Eevee because it commands dominance. It focuses on pins, it has enough damage to KO things after like rocks, after they're at like half. It has a really high base speed and it pins people. I've taken like 60% on most of my mods because I'm really trying to play around it. And it also has like the mix of like 50 50s because you don't know if it's going to go for like a big thunderbolt or if it's going to go for the floaty fall or if it's going to go for the priority zippy zap it has so many cool things it can do and like i'm really sad to see him preserve it because like that thing is such a pain there's a beedrill this is gonna do a lot so there's the dark pulse it's gonna do a lot yeah um i think what we're actually just gonna do is fodder the persian because like i think he's just gonna u-turn right he's just gonna u-turn is there anything we're switching to? Aerodactyl is a good switch in, actually. I'm gonna save my, uh, I'm gonna save my Persian. Because, like, uh, he can't actually touch the Aerodactyl. I think he's U-turning into the Pikachu, though. I just kept using Pikachu Adder and kept going Mewtwo. I tried to paralyze it, and it's insane. I just want to fight a decent player and not using Legends. There's nothing wrong with people using Legends and, like, Mewtwo's. You gotta learn to play around it. That's why we run, like, two Thunder Waves on each team. Because Thunder Wave is the easiest way to cripple those things. So let's see, is the U-turn Poison Jab? You can actually get a Poison here, but we do resist. A lot actually. No poison, please. Never lucky, chat. Never lucky. What do I what I, what I was telling you guys? Never lucky striking once again. I'm actually gonna set rocks against this thing. Cause like let's look at his team. Uh Pikachu's low. Zapdos takes a lot. Um I'm planning on forcing him to switch a ton later on in the game. And I know he's gonna switch right now. So I'm actually gonna rocks here. Uh, he he is faster than me, but it's not like he's gonna get a KO just yet. I get one more turn unless he crits. Yeah. And I can always come in with my B drill and maybe go for like a speed tie. So rocks are value here, I think. He's gonna poison jab me again. Is it worth switching into my B drill on a poison jab? It's a neutral. No, it's not. Not worth foddering anything over it either. Aerodactyl's already pretty much dead. So I'm just gonna go for an earthquake because why not? In case he wants to switch for some reason. He might actually U turn, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's a third poison jab. I'm just gonna send out my Beedrill. Yep, that's what happens. But I got up rocks. I think rocks are gonna be really value. Uh, it's possible Pikachu actually gets killed from rocks because the Pikachu is really low. And if it, if, I mean, that's like, kind of worth it for me. Nice hat. I know, I agree. It was a present. Present from one of my Modorinos. It's a pretty cool hat. Alright, so we got Beedrill versus Beedrill. Place your Beedrill bets. I think drill runs the now poison jab's still stronger, isn't it? It's neutral. Yeah, I think uh, poison jab's the play. We'll see if it does. How much it does? I'm right, right? This is a uh, neutral. Am I an idiot? I will see what he goes for. Drill runs neutral, but uh, drill run is. Uh, we go first. Using Mirko over Taunt and Electrode. I mean, it works. Oh, never lucky. Oh, it's not very effective. I'm an idiot. All right. Poison is four times resist. Poison. Poison doesn't just four times resist anything. It's the it's not super fun bug, bug. I'm an idiot. I'll just go for a uh, uh, drill run. That was a stupid play though. Yeah, it's it's halved on poison, but I thought it was super effective on bug for some reason. Uh, it's late. It's late. Don't don't hate me. It's late. Oh, he's switching. What are you switching to? 
Show me what you got. He's gonna come in and take Stealth Rocks damage. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'll take that. It's neutral on this, that's for sure. Oof, that's good damage. That's that crit. High critical hit ratio on Drill Run. And we're just gonna... I think I actually want to U-turn him. Let me just talk about it. Like, let me see what we got. No, it's fine. I'm just gonna stay in and... Uh, I kind of want to sub. Wait, what is he... I'm gonna sub. What does he have? He's gonna either Sleep Powder or Sucker Punch. Right? What else do you have? Power Whip. That might not... That might not be it. I don't know if that's it, my guy. I don't think my sub should fade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sub two more times. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. You're gonna miss that eventually. I'm gonna get that free sub. I'm gonna get that free sub. What? I'm, I'm gonna keep this though. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Subs up, boys. I'll take that all the way to the bank. Free sub. That's why he runs sub on Beedrill, guys. A lot of people like Roost. A lot of people like other stuff. You should do a video on a Q&A for your viewers to learn more about. Be cool. So this video is a Q&A. And it's going to eventually, like, these highlights go on YouTube. If you guys got questions, this is the time to ask them. And then I answer them. And then they're on YouTube. And then it's like everything's better. That's the way that it works. Let's see. He gets another Beedrill. I got a sub. He gets another Tauros. Tauros is actually the biggest problem. If I got a sub. Victory was another problem, but it's already gone. Pikachu might get killed by rocks, but even if it doesn't, we're good. How would you come up with your name? Uh, that's a long story. Um, so, Pokemon, right? Uh, this is, a, this is a good game to explain it. So, let's see, Zapdos. Uh, how did I come up with my name? So, Poke... Alright, let me just answer this Sun Series question. Be Sun Series over... It, like you said, people keep using the same mons and are able to use Pokemon they love. Butterfree, for example, can't do anything against Ubers. For the most part, yeah. We're gonna for a poison jab. Um, the way I came with my name. So, Pokemon is a lot like card games. Uh, Pokemon is originally a card game, right? And we get the poison, I'll take that. In case you're using Roost, let's see if you're using Roost. You're using Roost. Thunderbolt, he's gonna break the sub. Alright, so, since Pokemon is kind of like a turn-based game, uh, what you want to do, you guys have seen me use it a lot uh, over like this battle, previous battles. What you want to do is get yourself what we like to call like free turns. And a free turn can be classified as like a turn when your opponent is either going to uh, like lose a Pokemon or are forced to switch. So if like if I send out like uh, earlier when I was playing against like the Chanseys and stuff like that, um, you know, I kept forcing to switch out and on those turns I would double switch. And so that turn is effectively giving me a plus one. That's a plus one free turn to do whatever I want. I was setting up nasty plots. I set up subs with Beedrill. It's a free turn. And so what you want to do is create as many free turns where your opponent is switching and not dealing damage, not having the board presence as possible. And that's pretty much what the name is from. It's another Chansey, I think. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm just going to U-turn against this. What's he going to do? Uh, seismic Toss? Yeah. So you, you want to create as many free turns as possible, and the way to do that is to use moves like U-Turn, use correct switching and pins to force your opponent to play defensively, and react to your play to get yourself as many free turns as possible. So I hope my Pokemon are, like, dead. But I think I'm going to send the Star- I think I'm going to send Starmie out, because Starmie's, like, pretty useless. Yeah. It's not good as a Mon since you get a free switch. It's good to lose a Mon since you get a free switch. Uh, it depends on what format you're playing. In doubles, that can lead to a really big, uh, uh, oh, it's light screen, wow. Uh, in doubles, that can lead to, like, a really big power play. If they KO something incorrectly, that's really good in doubles, because if your board's, like, Incineroar Xerneas, and you, like, nuke their Incineroar turn one and expect their Xerneas to protect, and even if they do that, even if they totally do that, you KO the Incineroar, uh, what if they ran their Kyogre and you're not ready for a double uber board? Like, that's a really big play in doubles, but in singles, uh, you usually want to get the KO almost every single time. I think I'm just going to go for a Psychic, and it should still be able to KO. A Q&A would be cool. I just said that... We're doing a Q&A right now. <laughs> like, I'm just answering questions right now. Hopefully I can still KO this thing. Why it's great Chansey ain't no slouch. Holy moly, I think that's good. I, I'll say high end. I'll take the high end on that one. But yeah, Pokemon's all about creating those plus one free turns and uh, forcing your opponent to switch. And when they're switching, they're obviously not attacking you. So if you 
know what they're going to be switching. If you're influencing their play, you can take that turn to then, if you have rocks up, they're taking free damage as well. But you can also take those turns to pin them with other switches. We're actually going to lose the Starmie here on purpose. Um, and then send out a Pokemon like uh, Persian. Maybe not Persian. Uh, we're going to send out my Beedrill. Ooh, like, we could actually be pinned by this thing. I, wasn't, I didn't really think about that because if he wins the Speed Titans, my Beedrill, we kind of just lose. But the correct play is to fodder the Starmie here. And if he U-turns out, it goes for the pin missile, I was going to say. It depends, he has to actually have like a big bug stab. This could actually not KO. Two hit, two hit! Oh, we take those! That's why pin missile sucks, my guys! You heard it here. Pin missile's bad. Because, uh, <laughs> it only hits twice. Gotta use that twin needle, my guy. How old am I? I'm 20. You don't have to answer. I'm 29. I'm 29. When did I get into competitive Pokemon? Uh, like 2007, 2008. But I've played since like Gen 1 and like my my block used to hold like tournaments uh, Where we'd like play each other not like really tournaments We play each other like every single week. We'd like reset It's actually better to use Scald here to go for the burn even though he could be using facade It's that it'll take damage because for EQ. He's actually faster than my Starmie. So Jolly Tauros or Speed Nature Tauros is actually faster than a modest Starmie. Good to know Don't see it all that often. So Tauros is a little bit of a problem because Tauros is gonna outspeed almost all my stuff uh, I want to wait out his light screen. So I'm actually going to send out Beedrill. I'm going to send the Beedrill out. I think I'm going to use Sub once. And then I'm going to U-turn. Because I'm just trying to wait out the light screen. And then I'm going to go fodder the Primeape. And then I'll be fine. So we're going to Sub here. He better not quick attack me or some stupid thing like that. That makes me upset. So we'll see. I don't think he can really do that much about it. And if he switches into Pikachu here for some reason... Link Cable Battles were the shit. Yeah, dude, that's what that's my jam. Link Cable Battles, we make a new team every single week. I'll be back soon, just have to take a shower. How much longer will be streaming? I actually don't know. Battles canceled, he just saw it. So what I did was I announced the rest of that game. So I was going to sub, he was going to Earthquake. I was going to U-turn into Primate, fought to the Primate. Uh, Primate goes down, I send Beedrill out, U-turn again. Uh, he uses Tauros, he then sends out Pikachu. Pikachu takes Stealth Rocks damage, he might live with Pikachu. He can KO the... Persian, which is what I would have been going- or he couldn't have killed Persian. So, he saw the next, like, five turns of the games, just like I did. He chose to scoop the game because there was, like, no way that he won, won at that point. But, uh, I'll take those. That's a pretty good game, uh, overall. Uh, I really felt that I pinned him very well with the options that I had. I really like seeing the victory bow, but, uh, yeah, Pikachu is such a problem. And I think it's uh, at the better of the two out over Eevee, so that's just how I like to see it.